Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sahim from Sahim Tech. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install YouTube and place it onto your desktop so that whenever you open up that YouTube icon, it opens up in a separate app or software. So let's get started. So first of all, let me head over to Google. And then, one, and then let me just maximize the screen. And then now let me just open up YouTube. So now that I've opened up YouTube, let's see how to get this YouTube app onto the desktop so that we have a separate YouTube icon like we have for Google Drive and Microsoft Word and stuff like that. So for that, just click on the three dots right here, which is more. And then over here, click on more tools. Then click on create shortcut. Then after that, rename it to YouTube or anything else. And then make sure you check this window which says open as window. Now if you didn't check this, if, if you didn't check this box which is open as window, when you click on the YouTube icon, it'll open up in Google Chrome. We don't want that, we want it to open up in YouTube app. So make sure you check that box. And then click on create. Then you'll find that the same YouTube page has right now opened up in YouTube. So now if I type in Sahim Tech and open play up a video, it will open up as smoothly and just uh, as how YouTube will open up. So you can see here, it has opened up YouTube just like that. It's pretty cool, right? Now if we hey close guys. this, and then minimize Google and if you come back to the desktop, you can see we have a YouTube app on the desktop. This is the YouTube app. So how cool is that? Now if we double click on that, it will open up YouTube. How cool is that? So if you want to remove it, you can just delete it from here and um, that will just go away. But let me just bring it back. And if you type in the search bar YouTube. It says YouTube app right here. You can see it says YouTube app. Pretty cool, huh? So guys, that's the end of this video. I've showed you how to get YouTube onto your desktop. In my in, in future videos, I'll be also sharing with you how to get Google Classroom and all the other Google apps onto your desktop too. So make sure you are subscribed to me and also turn on post notification so that whenever I upload a video again, you'll get a notification. I'll share with you how to add all these Google apps onto desktop like we have Microsoft apps right here which we installed. So guys, see you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.